Hello Scorpio and welcome to your July reading with me Elizabeth. I hope that you're all doing really well. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising. As always these are generals so never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Use your own highest intuition and guidance. Take what resonates and leave the rest. All of the decks are listed in the description box below along with the best way to contact me if you would like to inquire about a personal session. Each month I do the videos in the order of most liked and thank you so very much for your patience. I know I'm super late this month, so this will be a message for the second half of July 2022. Please do hit the like button. It shows me that you've received the messages. There was something in this for you and then that way I can get your readings out sooner next month. So I'm going to start on your August readings in just another week. So let's call in the energies. As always, I call in the divine with love and with light. And let's call in the archangels at the four corners of the world and the six elements of earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today for this reading for my beautiful Scorpio collective. So thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Highest and best messages for Scorpio for the month of July, second half of July. What does Scorpio need to know the most? What is the overall energy for Scorpio? Let's get you a Moonology card. Since we're in Cancer season still. Ooh, look at that. New Moon in Cancer. Relax. I love this, Scorpio. You get to relax. Everything is good. There's a beautiful new energy for you. And this is so serene and so magical here. And we have Mercury that's moving through Cancer for like another week before uh, he goes into Leo. And the Sun in Cancer... So this is about, you know, feeling comfort and feeling love, feeling secure. It's the energy of the mother. So you may have strong cancer placements, but it's your sign of water, Scorpio. So um, the, the water is very calming for you. And this, I'm feeling like relaxed just looking at this. So a new cycle. Uh, so you can relax into that. I think spirit really wants you to feel that. And this, uh, I'm filming I'm filming your reading on the full moon in Capricorn. So it says, take a reality check. And that may be what you've been doing. This is the underlying energy here. Um, and the Capricorn full moon is squaring, um, is squaring Chiron and Aries. So this is where a lot of our triggers can come up and there's something culminating and you may be like really looking at things around the world or in your life or in a relationship or whatever that looks like. And like, maybe feeling some anxiety and spirit saying <coughs> it's all good Scorpio relax it's all good so let's get you some more messages and see where we go with this Scorpio. Yeah, you may be thinking about your foundations a lot. Uh, cancer is the fourth house. House of home, hearth and home. Four of wands is about the four pillars of your life. You know, it's where everything is equally important. Everything from your home life to your career, to your love life, to your spirituality. There's a beautiful blessing that's here for you. This is fire energy that's coming out. So it, it is um, looking at foundations and achievements but also from a spiritual perspective of the things that make you feel closer to source to god to creation and uh, there's family indicated here there's love and union this is also where you pause to celebrate how far you've come so fourth house the um, fourth sign of the zodiac we're in cancer season uh, spirit is saying relax celebrate how far you come just even if it's just for a moment to pat yourself on the back to look at the things that you've already achieved to look at some of the foundations that you've already built and allow that to sort of be your starting point that's like your jumping off point into the rest of the month it's beautiful and we get recognition and reward with the three of pentacles so there's something um, that you're going to be recognized for, reward, rewarded for, even if it's you doing it for yourself. He uh, has an achievement and he's like bowing his head, but he's received a medal. Someone's just placed a medal over, you know, over his head. So it's beautiful. Even if you're giving this to yourself, um, celebrations are imminent, the four and the three. 
Yeah, Scorpio. So we're getting Leo, and this is when the sun moves into Leo. Mercury is moving into Leo. Mercury is in Cancer right now, so it's calling for us to feel. It's like not so much overthinking, overanalyzing. It's uh, feeling through the emotions and allowing them to flow because as Leo season comes in, we will have the sun in Leo and Mercury in Leo. It's going to be a time of action and seeing where you're powerful, seeing where you, you're able to overcome some of your obstacles and all of that. So that uh, strength card. Strength comes in when you need it. So yes, this is a time to call on your inner power, call on your inner strength, your inner beast. Um, I love that. And this can also be speaking to like overcoming obstacles. That's the power card or the strength card is where you do overcome some of your obstacles. But first it comes through acknowledging, acknowledging yourself, acknowledging your achievements so far, pausing to celebrate how far you've come. Um, and then that's where you're in your power and then you can overcome your obstacles in this current moment. And I'm telling you, this card has been coming out in like almost every reading, the Nine of Pentacles. So it says material harvest. And this is where, yes, there's going to be an increase for you, a lot to feel gratitude around. Um, it's about your self-worth too. So it's a part of your self-mastery is to be in this place of knowing how much you bring to the table, knowing what you're worth, knowing what your time and energy is worth, all of that. Um, and also that you can sort of like, I'm feeling like you're in a place of really trying to grow some things in your life, um, trying to increase your sovereignty and independence. Um, and this is where you can do that. You can really affect your life in such a positive way when you're able to overcome some of your anxiety or stress. And I know this is easier said than done, um, but where you're in a relaxed place, where you're in flow, um, cancer energy is very receptive, you know, it's very nurturing. So this is really about providing yourself with lots of sunshine, with fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, all of that. And then you're calling in your abundance, you're calling in your wishes, you're calling in that, that partnership, more love you know, more abundance, um, all of that. So it starts from being relaxed and it starts from nurturing yourself. Cancer is the energy of the mother. And that may be where it, perhaps there's been some obstacles in the way. Four of pentacles, firm foundations. Maybe this is where you feel like there's all of these mountains to cross and overcome, but look at the strength of him. So I think spirit wants you to know like you're stronger beyond uh, what you actually know, or you're really seeing that like, wow, I've been through a lot. I've overcome a lot. Um, the four of pentacles can show where there hasn't been a lot of growth inside of the physical world. Maybe that's where some of your challenge has been, but it's really made you stronger. It's making you stronger, you know? So that's what the guides are coming in to tell you. So let's get you some tarot from this next deck and we'll go a little bit deeper for my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, Scorpio, we've got the fool. Beautiful. That's really lovely. And this may be a place where, you know, you, you are at a zero point. This is the energy of Aries here. So there's new possibility. There's a beautiful new energy that's here. It's the fool. So it's like taking that leap of faith. You take a risk. It may feel, you know, like there is some danger around this. Um, you may be feeling a bit cautious right now, you know, with that sort of like alligator down there. Um, but this is new potential. It's the birthing of something new. Um, it's also having that sort of like, you know, um, where you have a rebirth. It's a rebirth for Scorpio, a rebirth, a renewal. And uh, it's, it's based on instinct. So I think that that's a big message for you is to trust your instincts right now, to follow your instincts, um, something new coming in for you. And look at that. It's the death and the rebirth. So here's your card coming out. 
Um, so this is a time of renewal for you. There's a transformation. There's a releasing of stuff that's old. There's an end to an old way. There's an end to an old cycle. Um, and it's where like, you know, you can see where she's exposed here and um, you can see inside of her. So there's something that's very innocent. There's like an in, a renewed innocence around you, um, something that's vulnerable. You may be feeling really vulnerable right now um, with the Cancerian energy, like that's where children are vulnerable. So the mother or the father is there to parent and to take care of um, because we did see this Capricorn energy. That's the mother and the father. So you may feel a bit vulnerable right now, you know, inside of this space. So these are bigger energies, Aries and your card of Scorpio, which is very fortuitous. Queen of Swords. So that's Libra coming out. Kind of like looking over the horizon here, being very observant. I do feel that within you, there is a sovereignty that you have inside of your mind. This is a time to not be swayed by other people's opinions, other people's beliefs, what other people are thinking your life should be like or decisions that you should make. I love how she has the handheld telescope instead of the sword. So it's like she's able to see out across a, a vast distance. So you're really looking toward the future. Um, all of the birds that are sort of there, some of them may be your guides and others of them may be like you know, voices in the head that are just taking up space. Um, so that may be sort of what you're clearing out and you're like getting on top of this. I don't know. It's like a moving structure. It's coming out of, it's like an apartment building or there's all these different doors. Um, and you're not looking inside of them. You're looking out toward the future. So I'm seeing Aries and Libra, right? So that's um, Aries is about the self, your own identity, and actually, this full moon in Capricorn is square to Chiron and Pisces. So it is where some of our triggers can come up, like our deepest core wounding looking to be exposed inside of this full moon in Capricorn so that we can um, we can release it, like so that we can overcome it with the strength card. We can overcome some of our triggering, some of our wounding, some of our fears. Um, and, and it's like the parental energy of the mother and father, the mother being the new energy of nurturing and safety and love. And the father, it's like, you've put in the work, you've had the discipline, you've done the work. So it's about like almost being your own parent is something that I'm hearing. Like you've had to like really parent yourself and you have taken a reality check and you're still doing that to look out across it. Like, well, maybe the world looks different now. It's a new world. It doesn't look the same anymore. So how is it that I function inside of this? You know, because the Queen of Swords is like, she's there. So she's not playing the blame game. You know, she's not playing the victim game or the martyr game. She's just sovereign. And she's like, all right, um, let me look at things for what they are. She's seeing it from a very higher it's a higher perspective that she's seeing things from it's not overly emotional you know the cancer energy the leo energy it can be a bit emotional um and even scorpio energy but this is sort of what's transforming so very clear messages for you and the page of cups so that's beautiful this can be speaking to you know there's children involved for some of you you are the parent um you know uh there's a new emotional experience there's something about mother father child so this is like again it's like you being the parent but then this is also your younger self so you're still connecting you're connecting with the inner child for some you know some some healing um and and also asking the inner child well okay well what do you want because while the queen of swords is looking at this this new world let's just say um from a higher vantage point seeing things very clearly and from a new lens a new perspective the the younger self is like well let me talk to uh this goldfish in the cup so it's having more of the more what's the word i'm looking for it's having more of the um, abstract conversations it's more artsy it's more artful it's more creative it's in the flow and it's looking for some of the uh, ideas that are sort of outside of the realm of the physicality. This is more of the creative realms. So that's, it's a nice um, balance that I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. It's a really nice balance that I'm seeing for you. More people. So the Knight of Swords, this is the one who takes the action. 
So this is the one that actually decides to take the action to do the things. It's courageous. So this is where your throat chakra opens. And this is where you make the necessary calls, emails, text messages. You do the research. You write the email. You have the conversation. Um, and then you and you get moving. So there's movement in this because I'm seeing where, you know, there's this transformation. Then there's this sort of like pausing to look. Um, you know, and, and, and sort of, uh, and look at things and observe. And then there's the sort of getting into the dreamy place inside of the heart and the younger self. And then it's like, okay, we've got all this stuff down now let's do it. And there may be some movement, some, some travel, a bit of travel, lots of communication. So let's check the bottom of the deck and then we'll get you some Oracle King of Pentacles. And it's the feminine King of Pentacles. So yes, this is uh, Mars moving through Taurus right now, where it is sort of a bit of a slowdown. It's where we're looking at the value of things, like I think I was saying that. And uh, this is around foundations, but it's also the feminine king. This deck has two kings for each suit. One is masculine, one is feminine. Two emperors, one masculine, one feminine. So you're getting the, the king that is a bit more receptive and nurturing. It's the, the energy of the feminine coming in. It's about growing things. Um, things that are sustainable, things that are beautiful. It takes time to grow these things. So while the fool wants to leap, there's this part of you that's like, well, we still have some transforming to do. Maybe it's not a full on leap. Maybe, you know, it's where you're taking a bit of time with things. And that's why we're seeing this like relax, take a reality check and pause to celebrate how far you've come. Recognize yourself. You may be receiving um, some kind of like it's an award. It's a. It's a pat on the back. It's Saturn. We see Capricorn, full moon in Capricorn. It's Saturn, uh, the Lord of time and karma. Actually, you're being rewarded. So I feel like you've stacked up some good dharma. You, you're you receiving some positive karma coming back your way. That's your material harvest. You may be receiving a financial reward, um, money from an unexpected place, you know, um, so that's a message from spirit that there's like some kind of a financial reward, a success, um, a high accolade, a recognition from your partner, from your family. Like, wow, I'm, I'm just seeing this change in you. Um, I'm seeing your power. People are seeing you differently. There's a vibration about you that's changed a bit. That's something that I'm seeing. It's vibrational. It's subtle. A bit more vulnerable. All right, let's get you some more Oracle and then we're going to clarify all of these. That one really wants to come out. Caretaker, interesting. And we get surfacing. So for some of you, um, you know, this is uh, the role that you've played for a long time, caring for other people. You really show up for other people, Scorpio. You really do. I was feeling like you're, you've... You've um, really pleased the planet Saturn. And he's not easy to please. You please the planet Saturn. Um, that's more of like the Vedic astrology, you know, where you appease the planets. But it's not because, you know, because you wanted a reward. It, it's because this is who you are. And um, this is where you're showing up for yourself as a caretaker. Uh, it's this energy of Cancer Capricorn parents, you know, and uh, this is beautiful. So with the King of Pentacles here, some of you may actually be caretakers. You do care for people, children, the elderly, the sick, the hungry, the needy. Um, you're just a beautiful, you, you, you may be a nurse, you may be um, a healer, um, a teacher. You, you really look after people. You, you make the call. Hey, how are you doing? I haven't heard from you. Is everything okay? Um, that's just a part of who you are. And spirit really wants to acknowledge that because this is where a lot of your karmic rewards are coming in. I'm seeing like where the things are just happening for you, like out of the blue this month. There's, um, that's why they want you to relax. That was your first card out. It's just like, relax. Like you're golden. She has like this golden fan there. She's so elegant. Uh, there's a certain elegance about you. Even if you're masculine, you have an elegant regal 
even with the lion there, there's a royalty, a divinity about you. Um, you have this really lovely energy and we get surfacing. So look at all the colors here and it's like things are bubbling up. So this may be some of the emotions. Maybe there's a big emotional release. You're breathing a big sigh of relief and it's almost like there are tears that come with it. Um, because you're seeing this transformation, you're seeing your life shape up, you're seeing positive changes, um, but there's stuff that's surfacing up. And so allow it to come up. I don't feel like you have to force anything right now. I feel like it's all just coming up to the surface. So let's put that there for you. I'm trying to get these to where you can see them. Okay. So let's get you some more tarot. Let's go back to the tarot. Bottom of the deck, yes, I was feeling it. There's a frequency shift for you. This almost reminds me of like an egg or a moon, Cancer with the moon. Um, so the energy is shifting, it's subtle. And it means like, in this case, I feel like there has been some challenges, you know, some obstacles to overcome. Uh, but you're coming out of this in such a place of power. So let's get you some more tarot. And then we're going to pull three angel cards at the end. So we'll do one for Scorpio Sun, one for Scorpio Moon, and one for Scorpio Rising. So each of you are going to get your own um, angel guide card. All right. So thank you to the guides and thank you, angels. Highest and best messages for Scorpio. There's too many cards here, but the strength came out with the two of wands. So yes, that strength card and the two of wands is where in the two of wands, she's sitting up on the, on a rooftop at night and she's got the whole world there with her. So beautiful. Four of swords wanting to come out. So resting, relaxing, Got some extra rest. <laughs> and the Emperor. Uh, so now the card just really want to jump and we'll just look at them. So the Emperor coming out, that's the energy of the Father. You know, it's also um, the King of all Kings and foundations, stability. And there's the Feminine Emperor. Wow. So inside of a partnership, like, you may be doing all of this like you're, you're happily betrothed or married or you've got a great partner and like you're like a perfect match that's a message for some of you the mother and the father i just i can't stop them from jumping that was the king of pentacles again <laughs> all right All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have. Ace of Cups, yes. The Fool with the Ace of Cups. Um, so this is, it's a renewal. It really is a rebirth and there's new potential, new opportunity where your cup is going to be completely overflowing. Um, the Ace of Cups is also about releasing as well. So it's, you know, the joy and the sorrow, it's all of it. It's where, like I said, we sort of breathe a sigh of relief and cry a tear of joy um, because we know that there's this new cycle. It's the hand of the universe handing you this cup. So new love for some of you, a new renewal around your already existing relationship. And the star, look at that Scorpio. Um, you know, the, the death energy with the star, it's, it's a renewal of your hope. It's healing. It's a wish coming true. That's Aquarius. King of Cups, there's your card. There's your card. So this, you know, it is a time of healing. And this is where you really can relax into this. Everything's going to be good. It really is. And this is where you are in all the feels. Um, and maybe you've been a bit conservative with your expression around your feelings because you're feeling so much. You have a lot going on. And I do feel like this is where you'll have other people to share your journey with, your experiences with, to be like, hey, by the way, this is what I've been going through and this is what has been happening internally and um, this is sort of what's going on because, you know, still waters run deep here. He knows what he loves. He knows how he feels. He's an empath. He's a healer, but he doesn't always share it with everybody. And with this Ace of Cups, I feel like 
you know, this is where um, it's the release. It's an overflow. Um, it's a return to hope. The star is your highest self coming in. Um, this is your emotional mastery. This is your emotional mastery here on um, the mind and the heart. Beautiful. And we got the, I mean, you can't make this up. King of Cups, King of Cups, the feminine and the masculine. Wow, double King of Cups. Amazing. So I'm feeling like um, if you're a single Scorpio, get ready because your person's here. They're coming in. They're coming in. They're going to pass right through you, right with, right, they're going to be right there for single Scorpios. Um, and maybe you meet, you know, in the space of your service to others, it's something that you're doing for other people, or you're really, you've decided to take, do something to take really good care of yourself. It's something that you're exploring. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, so for many Scorpios, you're having this invitation for a new union. And it's the masculine and feminine side of you too, but they're two kings, masculine king, feminine king, right in a row with the star, a wish come true with the ace of cups there, foundations and achievements. Um, wow, okay. I mean, this whole bottom row and let's get the last card and the hermit interesting so this may be like uh, this is virgo energy and the hermit sort of like the hermit goes within the hermit removes him or herself from a lot of situations like going to all the parties or going to all the events or constantly talking on the phone or constantly listening to videos or the news or whatever like the hermit just kind of out there um, I love this because it it's represented by the water and the boats and all of that. So I'm feeling like this, you meet them like so unexpectedly, like it's while you're out enjoying nature. If this is an already existing relationship, I see maybe you've been in a separation with this person, you know, and there's this, um, the page of cups, there's a coming back together. There's a reunion. Um, it's, it's surfacing, it's coming up to the surface. So if you've been in separation, I feel like you're going to be reconnecting. And for those of you that are single, like you meet this person while you're really like doing the inner work, you're doing healing and like, there they are, they're brought to you by the stars. Um, so love for Scorpio, really, really love for Scorpio, a rebirth and a renewal around love. For those of you where this is not about love, but you have a great partner, yes, they are your forever partner. Um, the two of you really get each other. You really understand that the other needs space to grow, to breathe, even though you're both super committed. Like this is Scorpio, when Scorpio commits, Scorpio commits, like hardcore. And um, you're both holding the ships and here the ships are allowed to go free. And um, it's just, there's, there's such an amazing energy for you, Scorpio. It's really beautiful. It's a total renewal, a death and a rebirth for you. So you can relax. And even right now, maybe this doesn't make sense to you right now. And, you know, and that's sort of the beauty of tarot is that some of this is predictive and some of this is things that we're not seeing in our, in our immediate space. I feel that it, um, that again, it's taking decisive action, inspired action from a place where you are not trying to frantically manifest something in your life to force energies to come to you. It's where you come from a place of flow and relaxation and just, um, really, really, uh, checking in with your highest self here. That's the star card. Um, really beautiful for you. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of wands with the devil. So I'm feeling like it is sort of, um, like overcoming some of the, the energy that may have been a bit fickle in your life. It's like fly by night. It, it sort of comes in and then it's gone. Uh, it, it's like, you almost can't, you can't get a grasp on it. It's like sand that just um, falls beneath your fingers. Like it doesn't stay. So I'm feeling like this is where um, the energy is shifting and it's your energy with all of this Scorpio, all the cards of Scorpio, King of Cups, King of Cups, Death card, that's Scorpio. Um, you know, and then the Cancer 
energy coming in. Um, and then as we move into Leo season, that's even reflected here. So let's get you some empath power cards and see, just get you a couple of messages from the guides. Um, I think that these will give us a bit more insight into your current situation. I am seeing for some of you, yeah, there's an apology. Um, there's someone that wants to make amends. There's someone that wants to heal something that may have been broken. Yep, I release control. You are fixed water. You know, you're a fixed sign. So it's like, that's why I said the King of Cups knows what he loves. This King of Cups knows what she loves. It's very hard to sort of change a Scorpio's heart. You know, um, so I release control. Um, that's the new moon in Cancer to just relax and let things flow. Ooh, and they're really jumping. It is safe to be myself. Whatever situation you're in, allow yourself, you know, just to be yourself. Because I feel like you really know yourself. We got a bunch. I am safe to succeed. And that's the Cancer energy of safety. I am safe to be myself. I'm safe to succeed. These are like wonderful affirmations for you, Scorpio. I celebrate without escape. So you get to celebrate just because you get to celebrate, not because you're escaping any harsh reality. You're celebrating because there's something worthy of celebrating, that recognition and reward and your achievements thus far. And we get my body is sacred space. Beautiful. All right, so let's move on to your angel cards and then we are done. So we're gonna do one for Scorpio Sun, one for Scorpio Moon, and one for Scorpio Rising. I don't know who the author is to these decks, uh, to this deck, I got this deck at Goodwill and I wish that the author would have put their signature on it, but he or she didn't, so I cannot give anybody credit. So let's get you some messages. Scorpio sun, then Scorpio moon, then Scorpio rising. Okay. So, for my beautiful Scorpio sun, your views may seem a bit conservative, old-fashioned, or one-sided. Try to listen better to what others say and consider new options. We assist you with deeper insights, but it requires that you reflect a little on your own point of view and the frame of reference others have. Often, it is the wisest who gives in or compromises being able to realize that others may have good ideas and solutions will enhance others' respect for you. Um, and that may be part of the power. I feel like it's sort of like pick and choose your battles, really. Um, I, I, I think take what resonates with this and leave the rest. Perhaps you're dealing with people whose, um, whose viewpoints feel a bit conservative or old fashioned or one sided. So that may be something that you're moving through. And this is where, you know, you're just releasing the control, pick and choose your battles right now. Okay. Because you have a lot of, uh, good stuff that's coming to you. So Scorpio moon, uh, these cards look a bit similar, the two. So maybe you have a Scorpio. Well, I don't think you can have the same sun and moon, but anyway. Okay. The longing you feel is perfectly normal. Try to find the positive in the fact that so many and so much can evoke such emotions in you. That's Scorpio and that's a Scorpio moon. That in itself is very beautiful. Meaning all of the feels that you feel, it's beautiful. It's what makes you unique and you. Let feelings of gratitude find a place in your heart for they serve your highest good. Now you can move on with love and a feeling of deep connection, even from afar. And Scorpio rising, look at your angel. You are a light worker, but many do not recognize this. You, t you work too often in solitude for the benefit of others without their appreciating it. I'm thinking of that caretaker card. You are a humble soul who rejoices at others' success and tends to minimize the importance of your own. 
To be the one that carries the light is surely also to be an inspiration and share the joy of one's own victories, isn't it? Think about it. You are doing well and you deserve credit for your efforts. Wow, Scorpio rising, you are a light worker, but not everybody sees it. So take with that, take from that what you will. So for all of my Scorpios, I am wishing you nothing but the best. I really truly hope that this was helpful and inspirational and um, that there was something in this for you. So please do let me know. I love you. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of the month of July. If there's anything I can do for you, I am here. So please send me a message and take good care and I will see you all soon. Namaste.